Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to display the featured images and also how to register the custom image sizes. Now, in this video, let's talk about the heading. So, we know that we can display the heading using the title function. However, in some cases, so let's say I click on one of these single post page and I go on to the single post page, there would be sometimes that you do not want to show the heading uh, on the top of the screen. And in that case, I should have the ability to hide the heading uh, from the WordPress editor screen. So how do we do that? So now inside of the post, the place where we are actually editing the post, so let's say I go to this one. Maybe if I can have a checkbox over here which allows me to hide the title of the post, I think that will do the job for me, right? So what do you think these are? So these are actually meta boxes, all right? So there are meta boxes that WordPress provides by default and there are some that you can register uh, custom as well. So let's talk a little bit about meta boxes. So what are these meta boxes? Well, when a user edits a post, edit screen is composed of several default boxes like editor, published, categories, tags, etc. And these are called meta boxes. So as I've shown, shown you over here, you can see that you have the uh, different options over here. All of these are meta boxes. And if I want, I can register a custom one. So if you go on to the custom meta box and uh, it talks about why meta boxes are handy uh, they allow you to add extra information related to the post okay so and its relationship is established which means that the data for that particular post can be saved into the database which will be the meta so meta means data about data so information the some extra information so whenever we want to store some extra information about a post, we can use the meta boxes. So how do we register them? So you can see that you have got some uh, options over here. You can register the meta box using the add meta box function. So and you can register it on different screens, etc. You can register it on the default post type or also on the uh, custom post types. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, register that. So for that, what we're going to do is before we jump on to showing the heading, let's register this meta box. And for that, we'll create a class called class meta boxes dot PHP. Okay. And I'm just going to copy this entire class so that it's easy for me and I don't have to type it all over again. And I can say that register meta boxes okay and over here I can just change this name to meta boxes okay and then I can remove this I don't need I don't need these two so I'll just remove them so what we'll do now is if you go on top there is an add action so I'm going to use the add action over here and then since I'm using class I will use the array and then this operator and then add custom meta box and then I will just call this function make sure it is public otherwise it won't be able to so this hook uh, is won't be able to access this function if it's protected. Oops. And this is function. And this takes a parameter called post. So if you take a look, it takes a parameter called post. So you get post available inside of this. And then I can just copy this code. All right. And this is the screen on which screen it will be available. So, okay, so for now I'll just display in post on post screen later on. If we have any other post types, we can also put a comma in and you know put that post type. Let's say if we have a post type of book, we can add that as well. Okay, so now let's just format it quickly. 
So it's going to loop through all the screens, which is uh, the post types, and then it's going to call the function add meta box. This is asking for an ID. So I will just say that hide page title. So this will be my ID. Then it asks you for the label. So in the label, I can use translation function to make sure it's translated. And then hide page title. And then comma. Aquila. Okay. And then it asks for a callback. So since we'll be using a class, we'll use this keyword, this variable, and then the name of our function. So the name of a function can be or maybe custom meta box HTML. Okay. And I will just create a public function. Okay, and inside of this, I get access to post. So if you take a look, we get access to post inside of this function. So I'll just pass post over here. And then I will just copy this piece of code and then I'll explain to you what's happening over here. Okay, so what's happening over here is asking, it's actually storing the value by getting the uh, value of the post meta. So the post meta key let's say it is hide page title okay so what will happen is that the way this is going to be stored into the database will be whatever the post ID is underscore hide underscore page underscore title so that will be the name of the post meta and that's how it's going to be stored into the database and then we're just trying to get the value whenever it is stored okay and then over here I'll just use the translation function again We'll say escape HTML E to echo and translate and escape as well. Select or maybe hide the page title. Okay, and then over here, let's rename this instead of making this WP org field, we can just make it like Aquila field okay field okay in fact the for the ID should not have dash it should have so it should not have underscore it should have dash okay so this will be select again I can just copy the escape HTML part from here and I'll just say select And of course, I have to use the text domain, so Aquila. Okay. And then over here, uh, if the user has selected it, then some value. So you have a selected function in PHP. Uh, it's going to return the value uh, of if whatever is selected. So let's say this value is yes, no. So this will be yes, and this will be no. So you'll have an option to select whether or not to hide or uh, unhide the page title. Okay, so again, we'll use the translation. And then we'll put yes over here. Similarly here as well, we'll put no. Okay, so let me put this properly on different lines so it's easy for readability. Okay, so there are two options, uh, this and this, all right? And now let's go back and check and we expect that if we go to the editor and if I refresh, I should be able to see, you can see that we have the hide page title option and we have select yes or no. Uh, it doesn't look that good over here on the left hand side so you may want to take it on the right uh, so we do have an option to decide whether we want to show it on the side or or somewhere else so we can get that option actually
So if you go to add meta box, like if you click over here and you see what are different options that are available, right? We have the screen, callback, title, we have something called context. Let's take a look. So I'm looking at the WordPress score and context is optional. By default, it's advanced. Uh, we want it to be in the side so we can use this actually. So what I'm going to do is after the screen, I'm going to pass another parameter and I'm going to make that as side. Side. Okay. And then if I go over here onto my editor and if I re refresh, I expect that it should show on the sidebar on the right hand side. There you go. So now you can see that I've got this option available. And then you also have another option whether you want to show it on high or low. So it gives you priority. Okay, so I have added I have added the comment for this, so we'll be showing it on the side. All right, brilliant. <music>